Hey guys, I got another boat to go over with you today. This is a 1962 Hunt Deck. The customer's putting his own motor on here. He's, I think he's putting a 200 Mercury on the back of it. It's got set up with Mercury control. But this boat is a, uh, a very similar to my own personal boat. I, I'm very fond of the way that it's set up. I absolutely love the, the fishability of this boat. He did a couple of things a little different. He's got a little bit, well, he's got a bracket that we put up here on the top to mount his 12-inch uh, GPS into. We elevated him on this seat to get him up a little higher to see over the top of that. And I can't tell you how nice that is to get up a little bit and drive these boats from a seated position. But even if he wanted to stand and be in a taller position, it's got this bolster seat that slides back, this lifts up, and you can stand just like this and drive, which is extremely comfortable to do as well. So uh, hand me the camera, I'll walk you through this boat. All right, starting right here, he's got these storage steps on both sides of the console to take you up the front deck. Got a nice shelf underneath there, all his control panels. Got two live wells in this boat, each one with a timer on it. Got a foot rest there because of the elevated seat position. He'll be able, you can't reach the floor, so you have to have some place to put your feet. Cup holders in the uh, right places along through here on the mini catwalks that lead up to the wider catwalks that act as deck space. That's one thing I like about those wider catwalks. And you can see here that when you go through the trouble of making your catwalks wider, you don't really have much room to walk around the console. That's why we do this. That's why you see that bulkhead run across and that cockpit area created because there isn't enough room to walk through. So you have to step up somewhere. You may as well step up here. And you step up here right onto your deck. And you can utilize all this area in here is front deck space all the way around to the other side, all the way back down to the step on this side. And then the mini catwalks allow you to go front to back. In the cockpit area up here, this is the best spot to, to put uh, ice chests, things like that in there. And he added a storage step that goes all, if you get down in this cockpit and sit down, it gives you another area to step on to get up to that front deck. Storage box there. Up here in the front, he's got two big storage areas for tackle and things, whatever he wants to put inside there. Then he's got two big rod lockers, one on each side. He lined those with HydroTurf. Here he's got two live wells. He's got a live well there and a live well there. Traditional back deck on the back back there. Walking up to the front, recessed trolling motor foot tray, trolling motor bracket, removable spotlight kit. And you can see the walkability of this boat to be able to take stay elevated and walk all the way to the back of the boat and never step down driving area stays nice and clean there's tons of storage in this boat to put everything away nothing should be on the floor and it's just very easy to go from the driver's seat and get up on the trolling motor real easy no effort and look i tell guys all the time none of us are getting any younger so Climbing from that floor to that deck right there, if you don't have a step on it, when you get a little older or get a bad hip or bad back or something like that or a bad knee, that's nice to have. Remember, these are lifetime boats. You don't ever have to sell this thing after you get it. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow old with you. Putting a step in there is a good thing to do. Great looking boat. I'm sure he's going to love it. He's got custom colors on this gator skin that he picked out. Really came out nice. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.